letters we've been talking about? You. Me? You. Me? The letter U. Okay. What sound do we think of when we talk about the letter U? What sound? Awesome, awesome. Today in class, we worked on learning targets, listening for the uh, the medial uh in a word, uh, being able to discriminate uh in a word versus, say, other vowels in the medial position of a word. We can find words or listen for words that have uh in the middle. Everybody up, up, up. So you got to see the students uh, really listen the, for, we're looking for words uh, that the, may have uh at the uh, beginning the, and being able to tell the difference between a word that begins with that uh sound versus uh in the middle. So I want you to repeat after me. I can see. I can see. And I can say. And I can say. The sound that the letter U makes. The sound that the letter U and I can find words. I can listen because the children were engaged at the beginning with having to hear the learning goal, the learning target, and to repeat it. It puts it in their ear that this is what we're supposed to be listening for. It makes them more of an engaged learner because she told me that this is what we're supposed to be doing and now I have to make sure and that's what I have, or that's what I heard, or that's what I found out, or that's what I identified. I have blue gum. And Ms. Flack asked you, when you wrote your sentence, if you could find only the words that have a uh, in the middle. Only the words that have a uh, in the middle. And you were going to rainbow write that word, right? Yes, ma'am. Now, some of us found more than one word in that sentence. I'm gonna write it over here. Could you? The benefit of using learning targets and success criteria is that the children get an understanding for what they're supposed to be doing, a clear understanding about what I have to do, what I need to be able to do in order to have the success to be able to say that I can do that, or I can say that, or I can read that, or I can, um, I can describe that. So how would I spell the word gum, the word that has a uh in the middle? Lamaya? G-U-M. G-U-M is the word gum. Very good. Let's rainbow write our gum first. Gum, because gum has a U and a uh in the middle. Let me ask you a question. Can some words have U in the middle without having a uh in the middle? Yes, yes ma'am. Is there another word that we should choose in our sentence, I have blue gum? So what's the word, Jordan? Blue. We should choose the word blue? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Why do you think we should choose the word blue? Kaylee? Because there's a U in the middle. There's a U in the middle. But let's listen to that word, blue. You say it. Blue. I'll say it. Blue. Turn and tell your neighbor. Say blue. Blue. Do you hear an uh in the middle of the word blue? No, ma'am. Have we been tricked? Yes. I think so. Even though blue has a U in the middle, it does not have an uh. -huh. It doesn't have an uh. So can we rainbow write this word? No, ma'am. We cannot. All right, here we go. Oh, we're good and ready. It's a great catch. All right. What's the word? Anne. Anne is the word here. What's the word on this card? Pup. Pup. Which of these words has a in the middle? And pup. Pup. Awesome. Do we understand? Yes, oh. yes, We're looking for a uh, in the middle. Uh, in the middle. Toss. Pop up. Sam. Sam is the word. What is the word, class? Sam. Is Sam a? Uh? Not a. Uh. Not a. Uh. What is it? Uh. Not a. Uh. So I can put Sam with pup, right? No. Not. 
Do we need a U to make an uh in the middle? We learned that some words have U, but they don't have what? Uh, they don't have a. Uh, so I'll put this with, I'll put it with. A lot of times we've talked about learning targets without me calling it a learning target. And it's just a matter of, this is what my teacher said. This is what I'm going to repeat. Um, this is what we need to do, or this is what we're working on. And this is what I need to be able to do. Now we're going to try something a little different. Yes, you all will still have a chance to participate. I'm going to give you each two cards, okay? And you're going to have a chance to come and sort our cards. Are they gonna go with fun or are they gonna go with Sam? Uh or not uh, okay? Jalea, let's start with you. Up, up, up. I wanna see, one, if you can read those words on your card, and two, if you can put them into our groups. Uh, not a, uh, okay? Come on to the star. Go ahead and turn around. What's your first word? Us. Her first word is? Us. And her first word, her next word is? I. She's got the word us and she has the word I and these are perfect. Do you have words with a uh in the middle? No, ma'am. Very good. Tell me about the word I. It's because it's just I. It's just I. Very good. Tell me about this word. Why doesn't the word us have a in the middle? It's because you is at the beginning of the word. Very good. So the a uh sound is not in the middle. It's at the beginning. So where do your cards go? Should they go with pup? I'm sorry, fun, or should they go with Sam? Sam. Very good. Go ahead and put them in where they belong. My biggest piece of advice is to make it work for your classroom environment. But overall, you know the climate of your classroom. You know how your students, how they interact. You know the language of your students. Jordan, come on up. Okay. Read your words. Rug. Mm-hmm. Gum. Put them where you think they should be. Why did you put both cards in the same spot? Because they both have a U in the middle. Even though you have a U in the middle, does that mean you have a U uh in the middle? Because they both have a uh in the middle. Awesome. I think that as long as your learning goals, your targets Daniel, are speaking their language, it helps them to be able to understand what I'm supposed to do and how I'm supposed to get it, how I should be able to interpret it and give it back to my teacher. Show us where up and hum should be. Awesome sauce. Thank you, Batman. You can have your seat. Does everyone understand now? What are we listening for today in our words? Are we listening for you in the middle? What are we listening for in the middle? Uh, in the middle. What are we listening for? Uh, in the middle. Uh, 